what it do, man. What it does, he does, man. You feel? Hope everybody having a marvelous day. Let me go ahead and start this thing out, man. What good, YouTube? This your boy, Chi World. Back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys step by step how to shade. So the title of this video should be named How to Shade. I'll probably name it uh, How to Shade for Beginners. But anyway, it's about shading, man. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. One thing I need to do, I need to go ahead and drag um, a picture so y'all can see, y'all can follow along. So I'm gonna drag the original photo inside the software. So give me, give me a quick, give me a quick second, man. There we go. And that's what we doing, man. We finna draw that in. We finna draw that thing. Y'all probably like, boy, what is that? It's Michael Jordan, boy. Y'all get y'all heads out the gutter, man. I know what y'all thinking. Get your head out the gutter, man. All right, look. I'm going to put them on the side just so y'all can see. Yeah, we're going to place them right there. I just want y'all to be able to see me do this thing step by step. You feel? Let me drag it down some so we can put it. Put it behind this stuff. <clears throat> okay, there we go. We're gonna drag them right there. Just so y'all can see the picture I'm looking at and how we gonna got dang, you know what I'm saying, follow along with the original. Every time I'm doing shadows and shades, I look at the original picture and I pretty much just follow the tones I see in the original picture. So go ahead and make a copy of my line work. I went ahead and drew my line work so we can hurry up and get to the shading part because the main focus of this video will be shading. Let me um import my color palette, which will be in the description below if you're trying to buy the Chi World color palette, man. So let me see. Let me go ahead and import, import mines. Right, double click it. Double click that and now that thing off in there. Okay. What color, what base tone we gonna start out with? So we'll start with this one. Yeah, we'll start with that. Feel me? Go ahead and drag this color over the entire picture. Right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. So it'll fall right behind my line work. Then I'm gonna highlight everything together and click merge on my pathfinder. Then I'm gonna right click my color, go to isolate, select group, and then select the outer color and hit delete. You feel me? Now let's go ahead and click the color inside his eyes. Hold and shift. Just hurrying up and putting just a little base color down. I think we're gonna make his lips that color. We're gonna make that bottom one. Okay, cool. That's pretty straight right there. Now we're gonna make a copy of our color layer. Lock the bottom color layer and turn the eye off on the bottom color layer. Go to the one in the center. Hit this little arrow. Hit the arrow again. Then we're going to stroll down to the last black line work. Keep the top tool unlocked. And we're going to close that back. And we're going to delete the skin out of that layer. The skin color. We just locked our black line so we won't make a mistake and delete the uh, 
uh, the line work. We won't make a mistake and delete that. I'm go ahead and delete this. Like this. Make sure I get all the little colors out of his hairs. I bet. Now we're going to turn the eye back on on the bottom color layer. Lock that. Lock all the layers. Create a new layer. And put it in between the layer we just created with just the uh, the lips and the eyes. And it's right above the uh, color layer. So this is going to be our shading layer. So let's go ahead. Let's start with the shading, man. Go to my, my pencil tool. I shade strictly using the uh, pencil tool. I don't use nothing else to shade with, just my pencil tool. So double click your pencil tool. Make sure your settings look exactly like you see here. Then hit OK. OK, make sure. Make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one is locked. And the reason we did that little process I did where you got dang open the layer and you delete all the got dang, I mean you lock all the black lines and I, the reason I made that layer so when we do our shadows and shades it'll fall right behind the lips and the eyes. You know what I'm saying? So now what I'm finna do is I'm looking at the original photo. And we just gonna follow along. I'm gonna start with his nose. I just follow exactly. Try to du duplicate. Dang, I said duplicate. Duplica try to duplicate or mimic the photo. You know what I'm saying? Draw exactly what you see on the picture. So I'm just following the original photo. Like that. We just following the tones that we see on the original. Bring this down like this. Okay. Cool is good. I need to bring this. Up a little higher. I'm writing this down. Bring this up like this. Go like this. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just following, following the uh, original photo. I'm put, I'm placing all the different tones exactly where I see, see them on this picture. So I start with one color, and then I do all the shadows with that one color, and then I move to an even darker color the next time and I do all the shadows I can with that color then I move down even darker then I f just stay repeating that same process so I'm gonna finish this layer out strictly using this tone before I go to the next color so we're gonna go a little darker right after this but I'm just looking at the original photo you just gotta steady it with your eyes. And everywhere I see the tones, that's why I place them. I bring this up like this. Then you bring this over like that. Bring that bit like this. We're gonna bring this a little higher. Notice this come like that, then it's this little pocket right here. Then all this is gonna be filled in. So, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. So, just following it 
Oh, this is gonna be filled in. Cause it's working its way over like this. Then it come this way. Got a little highlight. Let's start right here. Then all oh, this is filled in. Okay. Let's come on this side of the face. Okay. Bring this tone over like this. I just study the picture as much as I can. That's all you gotta do, just draw. Put the tones exactly where you see them. Don't try to do nothing different from what you see. I'm just placing the shadows exactly where I see them on the original photo. Okay, I noticed this tone come on around like this. Um, right there. Just like that. We making progress. And now this is gonna be filled in. So let's just fill this in while we can. We got a little light spot right here. So let's go ahead and fill. Fill all this in. Coming together, man. And we just we just got one tone on here. You know what I'm saying? We need to start adding the, the transitions. So that's how you already know it's gonna be a dope picture. When you're doing good on your first your first tone. Okay. Bring this up. Like that. Oh, this is gonna be dark. Then it's gonna come over like this. Cool. And it's gonna come up like this. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is like a little. Set up right here. And there we go. Bring this up some. Like that. And now, let's add this. I see this. You got a little, a little shut up right here. Cool. My good joy. Go ahead and do this uh, tone on the ear. Find this back like that. Over. Like that, man. Okay, we finished finish with the first tone. Now we got to go a little darker. So let's create a new layer and put it right above that layer. And we're going to go down a little darker, man. And let's start adding these. I'm still studying the picture. It's all about training your eyes. Okay. Notice you got a, a deeper shadow right here. You feel me? I just go through the picture, looking at the original photo. Slowly building and adding my different tones. So 
All you gotta do is just follow the original photo. That's all I do. I just keep following it. And then like before you know it, when I look at my picture at the very end, everything be just put together so perfectly. You feel me? So I just, just follow what I see. That's all you gotta do. Draw what you see. Get a little darker right here. Then it go right here like this. Okay, cool. Let me come down just a little bit over like this. And this come on like that. Let's come on over like this. this in as it get darker gonna make all this darker like that I gotta show Shadow down some so this lip don't look so so it don't look so bright but this lip see I'm still looking at the original photo y'all that's all I'm doing studying the original photo come over like this then it come on like this I'm gonna fill all that in just like that you feel bring this over okay bring it down like that and it's coming together man see I gotta make this Bring this tone over some. Cause it get real dark right here. Then it come up right here. Okay. Also, this line. Um, it's a little more darker. <clears throat> See, the more you go along, you start noticing little, little details and little spots you miss that you can go back and add. So that's why I say it's important to just really focus on your reference picture and making sure you ain't missing no little detail. You gotta really pay attention to detail when you're doing your shadows so you can know where to place your tones. Cause that's all it is, just knowing where to place everything. Knowing when to uh, transition to a darker color or knowing when to transition it to a lighter color. So I just stare at this picture, the uh, original photo. And I just make sure I ain't missing nothing. Cause everything count. It's over like that. Like this, and I 
Let's go back to this ear. Let's start right here. And this come on around like this. Just like that. Also, we get real dark in here. We get bring this tone all around like this. You know what I'm saying? Bring this up. So shading is really easy once you figure out the formula, you know what I'm saying? Once you understand, it's going to get real easy to you. That's why you just got to practice. You got to practice until it becomes easy to you. It took a while for me to learn how to do shading and shadows and stuff, but once I figured it out, I was like, dang, it wasn't that hard as I thought it was. So the more you do it, the more you'll start to understand it and realize it's very simple. It's just following exactly what you see. Okay, now that we did that, what we about to do, we need to go to our next color, but before we go to our next color, I want to go back to the first shadow we placed down and I want to tweak that color a little bit. So I'm going to highlight everything for the object, expand, and I'm going to click merge just so all those lines can become one on that layer. And I want to make this layer just a tad bit orangier if that makes any sense. Uh, should have been more redder. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'll tighten them in. Oh no. Okay. Oh, that's a little too. That's a little too goddamn. Let me see. I need to switch it to like a. Uh, we got a color harmony. Just gotta tweak it a tad bit, man. I don't know why I'm so stuck on playing with the colors. Even though I got color palettes, I still tweak the colors sometimes and play with them. Okay, that'll do. That'll do for now. So now let's create us a new layer at the very top. I'm gonna go even darker now. Gotta get darker with these tones, man. The more tones you start to add, the more like three-dimensional it'll start looking. Start looking more 3D-ish. So let's add this darker tone. I'm still looking at my original picture, trying to place these tones exactly where I see them on the original. So that's all it is, man. Just get you a picture, whatever you're drawing, just copy that picture and try to study where all those different tones at and place it exactly where you see them on your picture so and don't try to do nothing different just exactly how you see where you see it's darker at that's where you place your dark shadows where you see the light shadows that's where you place the light shadows and i always go from light to dark <clears throat> so far bring this in like this bring this over like this this 
area is dark right here. to his uh the bass tone and we gonna make that we gonna make the bass color a little goddamn a little darker Let's see yeah I like that Cause choosing the right colors, like having your colors smoothly transitioning into the next color, it makes a big difference as well. That's why I tweak my colors a lot. Like my color palette, sometimes it be dead on, but then when you're dealing with skin tones and a lot of different types of people, it's everybody got different shades of skin tones. So my color palette is a good base it'll give you a good start and then you just tweak from there so most of the time i start out using my color palette and then i got to tweak it sometimes so i'm gonna tweak this color i'm gonna highlight that color because i want it to transition a little better too to the next color and we're gonna make that color a little darker as well so let me go to edit color adjust color balance make them adjustments click this we're gonna make that a little darker also get a little brighter yeah right there it's coming together man let me go back to that color because that color gotta have a little uh gotta have a little like my eyes getting better with these colors too the spot and what i need to change I need to add a little red to it i think that one to do that's one percent okay okay we looking good man so what i'm finna do now that we got those tones looking the way it is let's go back to his face i'm gonna go back to my color palette and we finna add a highlight layer that's where the light is reflecting now on this layer i'm looking at my photo and you see on the uh dang i wish i can show y'all you see on the photo like what the light is reflecting like the little the little white spots on his face i'm focusing on all those areas that's what i'm focusing on the highlight area so you see how the light is hitting off his nose i'm trying to draw that out just like that I'm drawing all the highlights how the light is reflecting off his face. So let me bring this over like this. Then the light come right here. Then it go up a little bit, come back down like this. And then it come over like that. And then it come over like this. Then it just work its way up. And then it's 
slowly breaks off right, right about right here. Just like that. Then you got a highlight right here. Then it comes up heavy right here. It starts right here and it slowly break off. Get smaller. It's gonna be right here, like that. And then start right here. See, I'm just looking at the original photo. And I'm slowly, I slowly just build the whole picture just by paying attention to the different tones and the, how they transition. Studying my reference photo. Let me get my lead right soon. Go back to my pencil too. Daddy, I need to put a highlight on this ear. So it's like a little, a little small. Right there. Right there. I would have drew his earring, but I just wanted to focus on the, um, focus on the shade in the face. Really, I just forgot to put it on there. But we don't need to focus on the earring anyway. We just see put this on shadow right there. Now what we gonna do is create us another layer. You can take it as deep as you want to take it, man. Just know the more tones you add. The better your picture can turn out. Let's see what, okay, that's the same color I got. I need to go to this dark, dark. Okay, yeah. Tweet that shadow, the shadow I just added. Oh, maybe we got. Let's see if we got it somewhere already on our color palette. So, no, that ain't it. Yeah, we just gonna have to tweak that one. Cause it ain't got the tone I'm looking for for this picture. So, let's go right here. Okay. There you go. That's cool. Cool is good. I'm still looking at my reference photo. That dang Michael Joy, man. Michael Jordan, tell y'all my favorite basketball player since we shading one. My favorite basketball players of all time. It could be in any order, like if I had a name 10, it had to be like Michael Jordan off rip. He gotta be your number one. God dang, Ella Iverson. You know what I'm saying? LeBron, Kobe, v Vince Carter, he was that guy, and um, who am I? It's 
a lot of them I like after that, but them are my main ones. Like, you know, Shaq. Gotta have Shaq in the top. But yeah, those are the main guys. But my top three, my top four. I gotta say four, not top five. The top five list, you know, Kobe gotta be, got dang, Jordan, Iverson, LeBron. And I don't know who's gonna get that fifth spot. Let me see. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's see what we're gonna do. I'm still looking at the picture, trying to see what I miss. See any tones I can go back and help out a little bit. And I see it. We need to go back to the, uh, the first tone we created. And I need to bring that a little closer. Now that we got all the other ones, tones laid out. I hate when they keep the picture highlighted in that purple because it kind of distracts me sometimes. So, like that. Bring this so Okay. Okay. We almost finished. I just like to add touches, man. I'm gonna try to get it right. So we have a nice looking picture, man. We can bring this up a little higher. Look at that. Also, I can bring this a little closer. Bring this tone on up like that. Oh, make sure that's filled in. Like that tone in. We pretty much we go to the next. Pretty much can go to the next tone. Let's go back. Let's see what tone this is. Can we bring this tone a little closer? Yeah, I see some areas. See some areas we need to touch on on that layer. And that's what I do. I just keep going through the picture and I try to spot as much detail as I can. Because the more you add in your picture, the better it'll look. That's why it's good to study your reference as much as you can, man. Okay. Bring this over like this. Bring this a little closer. Like that. Okay, cool, cool. Boy, look like Michael Joy. Okay. Bring this up. Okay. 
Ooh, I had a fear at the end, I think. Okay, okay. Okay. What layer that was, okay. Let's go back to that one. Add our little touches on this layer. But we trying to get this thing looking sharp, man. Okay, this tone come on up like this. And it come in and it break off like this. And it swirl back. Ooh. Just like that. And it break up. Just like this. Darker this bottom on this chin. Let's go a little darker on this around this lip. So let's go a little darker right here. Dark in this corner. It's all about building, man. Gotta learn how to build your colors. That's all I be doing is just building. So it started out simple, but the more you slowly add, it builds. So if you trying to get the hang of it, you can just stay. You can find this same Michael Jordan picture online. And you can just slowly watch this video and just see how I was slowly building the tones and yeah, I'm still building. You just gotta learn how to study your photos. Learn how to study your reference. Now what we gonna do? Wait, 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 what layer I was on? Okay, I see what layer I'm on. Let me go back to, was that the tone I need? Yep, that's the tone I need to see. Cause I seen something I was missing. And it's right here. Just keep paying attention to the small details. Wait, what? Okay, cool. Now, what we can do let's go back to our highlight layer create a layer right above that and we need to make a highlight that's a little brighter inside the highlight layer mm. cool gotta show that light reflect So instead of just going straight to the color white, you want to make it transition into it. So we slowly getting brighter. Still studying this picture, y'all. That's all you gotta do. Just look at the original. right here 
deal. Place the highlight. Right deal. And pretty much there we got it, man. You know, we can just keep going on and on, adding details. Y'all know me. But I ain't gonna go too far into it. I'm just trying to show y'all how the got they ain't do it, man. Go ahead and add some shadows inside the eyes and the lips. I'm going to get my little, put on my little color palette. Oh, my God, dang. Little tone right there, just like that. that little tone like that. You feel Shot on the lips. See, same thing. I'm just looking at the reference. Follow this like this. Come around like that. Uh, my eraser too. Darker tone. Come up like this. It goes over. Find it colorful. Okay. Cool. That's a little too bright. So let me go a little. Okay, that's cool right there. But that ain't my good joy, man. Put a little glare in his eyes. So I'm gonna go to the layer at the very top. Michael Jordan, man. Create a new layer at the very top. Let me go to my gradient. Go to this gradient tool. Delete these two little bright colors. Double click the color on the edges and turn that bottom number to 100. Pull this to the center. Pull this a little closer. And make this brighter. So we can get that little. That's how I be making my little hairbrush with the gradient. We just gonna put some highlights. Put a little over here. Like 
that. There you have it, guys. Michael Jordan, man, one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. Basketball. Wait, hold up. I ain't done. I seen some. I ain't seen something, man. Man, one more quick tone. Wait, what's that sign? Here we got down. Trying to read my lips and I ain't even asking for. Okay, cool. There we go, man. About to be out this thing, you feel me? Oh, that's too dark. I tripped. I thought that was a. Uh, All right, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. If y'all want to see more shading videos, just say it in the comments. If you want a more simple shading or if you want to even more advanced, if you want me to just keep stepping it up or not, or if you want me to try to make it a little more understandable for y'all, just let me know what you think. Give me some feedback in the comment section. I appreciate y'all. Go hit that link in the bio. If you're trying to get you the skin tone color palette, hit the link in the bio because I will have a Spotify music link. If you want to check out the music, I'm finna be dropping a lot of music this summer. It's gonna be a lot of stuff coming, man. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More he coming soon, and I'm out there thing.